My name is Vimal Kumar. I'm from uh, Fiji Islands, and uh, I came to Canada in, in 2005. Back home, I was a school teacher for, uh, for maths and physics for high school. Uh, I did that for seven years, and then I switched to automotive, and I was an uh, automotive instructor for uh, youths. I did that for seven years, and then I came to Canada. I work for Kaltaya. Uh, at uh, store 63, I'm an automotive technician there. I've been uh, working there for 10 years now, and I, my job is to fix cars, train uh, new apprentices to become mechanics. What attracted me to come to Canada is uh, uh, for a better life opportunity for my kids and myself, for a better job opportunity. One of the challenges that I faced, uh, when I came to Canada first, when I tried to find jobs, as like I was told, oh, your education is not valid in Canada. You cannot work as a mechanic or as a teacher uh, for math physics because the, ed the, the education was not uh, valid here. So that was pretty depressing for me and also finding jobs. And then my wife, she never worked back home for how to find jobs. And she, had, she was working two jobs and then trying to adjust to the community here. Like you have to take your kids to school and that was pretty hard for her. My son did not know English at that time. So we put him in school and then uh, for the first week it was very difficult for him. And, and then the funds were running out pretty quick. And so it was like, it was pretty depressing for the first few times, for the first few months. And then uh, those are the challenges that I faced, yeah. When I first came to Canada, I tried, to, uh, we went, I went to the Canadian Immigration Services. Uh, for a week, I did uh, classes there. They, they helped me write my resume up. Uh, gave me some ideas how to go about trying to get my qualifications all assessed. So I went to, then I finally went to uh, BCIT to get, say if I could uh, do my automotive uh, course again. The instructor there helped, uh, helped me. He told me, go to the apprentice board. And when I went to the apprentice board, they looked at all my qualifications and my ex job experience. They said they gave me an opportunity to write an exam, which I wrote, and I was to have to pass with 70% and above. And I, when I wrote the exam, I passed. Then they gave me me gave me the uh, automotive red seal, uh, which I could uh, work as a mechanic. Then, before that, I was just working as a tire technician at Cal Tire, which required none of my skills. And uh, after I got my red seal, then I was able to work as a mechanic. I've been trained about five apprentices since I've been there. Part of the teaching skills that I'm using from my automotive when I was doing back home is for my apprentices, telling them uh, how to do certain things, teaching them skills. And the, best, the, the most important thing is I have to be patient because it takes a time for them to learn too. So patience is, what, is a very great thing that I have. My girls, I, I'm still studying. Uh, I've just finished uh, my, uh, like about two years ago, I finished my first and second year of heavy duty technician also. I'm waiting for time so that I can go do my last final year. So I can also have a heavy duty technician. Uh, when they come to Canada, when, when a new one comes, they should try to go to the government agencies that they have for new immigrants. Uh, they use their facilities and like I did, I got my resume done from them. I got my ideas from them where to go. They should use that, use this uh, proper resources. And once you're guided in the right path, then you'll be able to find your journey easier or else it will be very difficult and more depressing.